Bhagavad Gita, verse 2.49. O Dhananjaya, action performed by those desirous of its fruit is vastly inferior to selfless action offered to the Lord. You should take shelter of this selfless action, Nishkama Karma Yoga. Those who desire the fruits of their action are misers. Sar Ardavarshini In speaking this verse, beginning with Durena, Sri Bhagavan is criticizing fruitive action, that is, Sakama Karma or Kamya Karma. Kamya Karma is very inferior to Nishkama Karma Yoga, which is offered to the Lord and which is also called Buddhi Yoga. Here the word Buddhao implies performing action without the desire for the fruit, Nishkama Karma, while Buddhi Yoga implies worship of the Supreme Lord by selflessly offering him the fruit of one's work without attachment. Nish Kama Karma Yoga Sar Ardavarshini Prakashika Riti Kripanaha refers to those miserly persons who are unable to understand the meaning of Nish Kama Karma Yoga, selfless action dedicated to Bhagavan. Such people are attached to the fruits of their activities and consequently they are sometimes happy and sometimes distressed. This topic has been explained at greater length in the Priyat Aranyaka Upanishad. Once there was a great assembly of realized sages in the royal court of Janaka Maharaja. Janaka Maharaja's servants brought to that assembly hundreds of milk-giving cows along with their beautiful calves. The horns of the cows were encased in gold and their hooves in silver. Beautiful cloth, decorated with golden ornaments, graced their backs. Folding his hands, Janaka Maharaj addressed the sages with great humility. Whoever among you is Brahmaveta, a knower of the Absolute. I beg you to come and accept these cows. All who were assembled there began to whisper among themselves. No one dared come forward to present himself as Brahmaveta and take the cows. Again, Janaka Maharaj looked towards them with all seriousness. This time, the sage Jagyavalkya got up and told his students, O oh boys, take these cows to my ashram. Hearing this, the other saints objected, saying, Are you Brahmaveta? Maharishi Yagyavalkya said, I offer my obeisances at the feet of those who are Brahmaveta. If you want to examine me or ask any question, please do so. The various sages ask different questions, and Yagyavalkya Maharishi gave them befitting answers. At last, the greatly learned Gargi humbly inquired, Who is a miser and who is a Brahmana? Yagyavalkya Maharishi's response was this, Yova ethat aksharam Gargi avidit Vasmal Lokat Preti Sa Kripanaha. O Gargi, that person is a miser who leaves this world without knowing Sri Bhagavan Ajutya, the infallible absolute reality. Priyat Aranyaka Upanishad 3.8.10. In Srimad Bhagavatam 6.9.49 it is said, Na Veda Kripanaha Shriya Atmanuguna Vastu Trik. Misers or Kripanas are those who consider that the ultimate reality 
consists only of sense objects produced from the material modes. Furthermore, it is stated in Srimad Bhagavatam 11.19.44 Gripano yo chitten triyaha A miser is a person who has no control over his senses.